Police in Nairobi intensified their vigilance with security tightened across all routes leading to the city's central business district to deter protesters ahead of the highly anticipated Nane Nane demonstrations. Today, minimal skirmishes were witnessed in downtown Nairobi, Kisi and Mikori towns where attempts by goons to loot property was effectively thwarted by police officers. From 11 o'clock, chaos erupted in the CBD as police clashed with demonstrators during the August 8th protests. The city centre turned into a battleground as tear gas filled the air and running battles ensued. Police officers were seen clearing the area with businesses closing down and public service vehicles leaving. The situation remained tense for the better part of the day. According to the Acting Inspector General of Police, Gibson Masengeli, over 120 were arrested in relation to the protests in Nairobi. In Nairobi where one officer was injured, we also arrested a total of 174 suspects. That is 126 in Nairobi, 22 in Kitengela, Rift Valley, 26 at Emali in Makweni County. K24 has established that more than 30 people were injured today, most sustaining injuries from exploding tear gas canisters, some being clobbered by the police, some got injured while fleeing and some having respiratory difficulties from the billows of smoke in the city center. We caught up with Philip, alias generally as well wishes brought him to a city hospital to receive treatment. So the process is to piga piga kelele, ruto must go kusibabu. Hiyo ndo tulikuja kufanya. Polisi wakakuja wakanigonga kanista ya kwanza hapo kwa mgu. Kaumia, jamu wakaniokolea. So kidogo kidogo kachukua like kitu kama 30 minutes. But yenye na believe ni ilikuwa ni njama. So kuna kakiwete alikuwa kwa kona fulani. Wakarusha tia gaz. Then ilikuwa live kwa tiktok. Watu wakaniambia okuwa huyo jama hachana live kwanza. So na jua tia gaz ni moshi. Nikafunga bendera ndio ni ingie ni okoe. So siku anaona kuingia huko ndani nikakutana na polisi head on. Ndio sasa kanigonga hii ya left. So hii ya left na hii zi move kabisa. Journalists covering the demonstrations were not spared either. And when we post the question of police aggression to the acting inspector general, this is what he had to say. We fit no report of the same, but we'll investigate and find out of the instance. <laughs> Many protesters condemned the excessive use of force by the police. Clearly, say the police have brought violence to the peaceful protests, and uh, that is uncalled for, uncalled for, unprovoked at, at the end of the day. We have a constitution, we have laws, and we have seen how the police are openly violating the constitution, violating the laws with impunity. Today was anticipated to be the culmination of the Gen Z protest with the demonstrators demanding greater accountability from the Kenyan government. Whether the Nanenane protests achieved their goal is debatable. However, fact is activities were not as usual within Nairobi's CBD on 8th of August 2024. David Kagina, K24, Nairobi.